Um, but let's let's get started. So typically, the first thing we'll want to do is actually crawl all of these websites. Um, we basically want to, you know, include the Google Analytics um, data, the Google Search Console data, data from Majestic.com because of the fact that um, we want to preserve the links and we want to know which pages have links. And we also want the log file data, if at all possible, because we want to know all of the URLs then, and we want to make a massive list of all of the pages that possibly could be moved or, or basically all of the pages that exist on all of the domain names. Um, this could be, you know, we're talking about multiple domain names and websites, but there actually could be, you know, it could be just three where you, you're taking two websites and combining them into one. But actually, I've seen cases and I've worked on cases where, you know, examples um, have literally 10, 20, 30 different websites and combining them essentially all into one website. But let's let's make that list. Let's crawl all the sites and basically make a list or multiple lists of the URLs and of all of the sites because you'll definitely need those later for the redirects. Essentially, what I like to do is is create a spreadsheet with all the URLs and all the sites, and then you know it could involve multiple tabs, um, one for each site, um, one for the new website you're creating. So basically what we want to do is there's start that tedious process of listing all the pages on the new website that we're going to have. And then actually start to map out which pages from the old websites we're moving over to the new websites. And so once we had that spreadsheet, we're actually going to want to see and start to look at which needs to be redirected what content needs to be moved, what content needs to be, and which pages need to be combined. And so we're gonna start making a plan for combining the content and, and planning for you know, moving the content. Um, of course, it's gonna have you know, probably navigational changes, um, basically changes to internal links on the site. So we'll need to map those out in the spreadsheet as well. But keep in mind that, you know, uh, that if at all possible, just keep as many URLs as the same as possible. Um, you know, on that main website, even if it's a you know, it, it, it's a little easier if it's a new URL, um, a, a new domain rather. But again, if you're combining multiple websites into one, it's helpful actually to keep the same URLs on the main site as you can. Um, it just makes it easier if, if, if some of the URLs at least um, don't change. So don't change, you know, for example, uh, if you have a contact page and you've always been using something, you know, domain.com slash contact, and there's no reason for it to change to domain.com slash contact hyphen us, for example, just use that same URL there. So basically, when they're in this whole process, um, I actually do recommend starting with a brand new, you know, new, a new server, a new web, new, new site for that domain, basically so that um, you can actually take that content and while you're working on it and, and, and move the content over, and update the site and get, get it ready um, for, the, for the migration. That'll give you actually enough time to, to move it and so forth and, and to combine content. You know, it kind of gets messy when you actually are having a work in progress and you're working on it and updating navigation and pieces and parts of it and and from one sites and and you're actually you know beginning to move content and you already have a live site it, it can get kind of messy there but basically once you're happy with the site um, you know and the content that's you know some of it's moved some of it's combined you can actually start to set up the redirects um, so what you want to you'll want to do is you know obviously you have a, a spreadsheet and a list of all that you know in the, on the on crawl crawl data as well you have that list of all the pages from the other sites and you've you've hopefully at this point decided which pages need to be redirected. So basically we want to do also is uh, for all the versions HTTP colon slash slash HTTPS colon slash slash 
http colon slash slash www and of course the https colon slash slash www all those to those versions and subdomains you want to make sure those are all verified in google search console um, set up the redirects um, I, you know you pro, you know you you're probably going to use um, the hg access file to um, set up the redirects um, and then allow you know basically the search engines to crawl the new site uh, if you've changed a new server, you, you know, you actually, you'll need to update the net domain's name servers, uh, basically to have them point to the new server. And then actually what you want to do is use that Google change of address tool. Basically, you're telling Google that you've officially moved from one domain to the other, the other and um, that has to actually happen on the home page. So what you'll need to do is if, if you go to the, one of the old pages the home page of one of the old sites that home page it'll need be to it will need to be redirected over to the new site that hap that has to happen for that change of address tool to work um, it's important because if you're, ch you're actually telling Google that you've moved from one domain to another or multiple domains to the other that's important actually because that'll help preserve some of that um, credit if you will um, and you're officially telling Google that okay we know that we're moving and this is what we have moved to go ahead and update your Google Analytics settings make sure that you know you want to point to the new domain name you may not be able to actually keep all the historical Google Analytics data because you you know if you have multiple domain names or multiple sites you'll have different UA codes on those other sites so that'll be important to make sure that you've moved you know to a new one or or use one of them um, you may want to keep the old the other you know the Google Analytics accounts still active um, and not delete them so you can refer back to that data but basically it's not like you're moving from one domain to the other you you, you have probably multiple you know Google Analytics accounts and you're moving those to one domain name. So you may just want to start off with a brand new new one. Same thing uh, as as some of the other projects, like when you're when you're redirecting and you've that, you know, done all that, crawl the sites again. Basically set up a new crawl with on crawl, use that list mode, the URL list mode, and basically upload that a list of all the URLs. And make sure that you've redirected them and and they're all set up as 301 redirects you may actually want to go through and manually just spot check some of them um, as well just by just copying and pasting some and you know randomly and checking those but primarily if you use that um, URL files um, list and you upload that to on crawl you, sh you know you, you let it run and you'll be able to check and, and, and find that. So basically, any, once you've uh, moved that content over, any co new content that you've, you've moved or, or, or updated, you may want to use the Google Fetch and Render tool to basically request that Google recrawl the site. Um, I also recommend actually that uh, make sure your sitemap.xml file or files your, your XML sitemap files are are correct and so forth you might want to check those as well so basically that um, is is an a good is an overview um, of moving and combining websites into one website this can be a you know sometimes a very large project that take can take weeks and weeks um, but again um, it is something uh, to go through and make sure everything is 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 done correctly um, because there is you know there is the chance that um, you can probably you know you could you know lose rankings and traffic if, if, if it's done if it's not done properly um, and you know I can say that um, on crawl is definitely one of my favorite tools for doing these um, domain migrations and it's, um, it, it's very helpful for me Again, this is Bill Hartzer, U.S. Brand Ambassador for On Crawl, and uh, I hope you've uh, gotten some good information here. Thanks.